Well, now to Nebraska City, where a man accused of beating a woman walks out of jail without paying a dime. He is the first person in Oto County District Court to qualify for the new pretrial release program. Okay, TV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts also spoke with a very frightened woman tonight, and he joins us live. The Oto County attorney says the pretrial release program will keep better track of defendants compared to those people who just bond out and disappear. Only problem, the woman Alan Smith's accused of assaulting, she says didn't know he was out until they crossed paths in the street. My first reaction was my heart was racing and I was scared. We're calling her Stephanie for her protection. She says she'll never forget the moment she locked eyes with Alan Smith Wednesday morning. I didn't know he was out. I wish they would have informed me more. Smith's accused of breaking through this window, then beating up and restraining Stephanie on August 4th. Threw me down on the floor, which I hit head first. And then he picked me up off the floor and dragged me. Now, Smith, a registered sex offender in Nebraska, faces a charge of felony imprisonment and three misdemeanors. On Tuesday, the judge allowed him to sign his name and walk out of the Odo County Jail. It's not a get out of jail free card. So uh, we're trying to, to educate everybody, the, the public and the law enforcement, and the prosecutors ourselves. Odo County Attorney David Parch says Smith's pretrial release comes with extensive supervision. He must report twice a week to the pre-release program in Sarpy County. Ultimately, again, it comes back to public safety. And if it weren't for the fact that you can make these uh, defendants immediately get into some services, um, then I certainly wouldn't be supportive of it. But the fact that we can actually implement those things up front now rather than waiting to the back end, I think can really be a benefit to everybody. Stephanie hopes Parch is right, but says it doesn't mean she'll sleep any better tonight. I hope that he gets counseling for the issues uh, that he can fix and stuff for himself, you know, because I can't really make that decision for him. We spoke with a Sarpy County attorney, Lee Polikoff, this afternoon. He says pretrial release is common in his jurisdiction. So far, he's pleased with the compliance of defendants who get released and the screening process. Rob, back to you. All right, Dave, thanks.